हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते हाउ आर यू गाइस डूइंग टुडे ऑल सेट फॉर दिस सेशन सो दिस इज अ वेरी स्मॉल फन सेशन रिलैक्सिंग सेशन ऑल विद लॉट्स ऑफ स्लेंटेड लाइंस एंड मेकिंग स्पाइरल्स एंड if you see these are the all kind of our past spiral session work they are very abstract and the fun part is that you don't even know how it will come up when they are kind of done and but still they all are different from each other and they all look very beautiful and pretty and you can use them in various ways you can combine them you can make big art today is like kind of my 54th Uh, this is spiral art session and i may i keep all these spiral like kind of uh, their strings for every single day so i just plan the strings guys even i don't know how it will come up when we are kind like kind of finish it so what will be the final product and that is the fun for this kind of artwork so let's start i'm using this little thick black marker pen for the string and then i'm going to use this micron 08 pen for all the spirals so as you know we always start with the border and i'm using a 6 inch by 6 inch square paper as i always use in all my pattern drawing sessions either it is a mandala art either it is a zen doodle art only on my patreon session those are like the big sessions i use bigger paper and bigger intricate designs and but in these every friday saturday sundays in spiral art in mandala art and zen doodle i'm using these 6 inch by 6 inch sheet these are the artist tiles specially made for the pattern drawing so for the first thing we are going to divide it into vertical two parts guys if you want you can use ruler if you want you can use ruler to measure it i have no problem about it it's absolutely fine if you want to do like that then i'm going to join this the top and then we are going to join it from the bottom so two axis kind of we are going to do so today we are going to draw actually very big lines because we have a longer sections today and uh, i'm pretty sure it should look pretty now i'm keeping this pen back and i'm taking my this regular pen and the tip size of this pen is 0.5 mm this is a micron pigma sakura pen let's start So first I'm going to start from this left corner block and for the left corner block I'm going to start from this bottom and we will go clockwise. So these are the things just you need to take care of from which point you are supposed to start and which direction we are supposed to go. These are the two things which we should take care of. and as i told you if you want you can use ruler always draw little slanted lines i just try to be very close for the first line second line and third line so stay little close because it's a very thin long shape like this draw as slow as possible so that less chances to mess up keep drawing the slanted lines keep drawing the slanted lines until you reach to the core of the shape try to maintain the shape
keep drawing keep drawing keep drawing until you reach to the very center of it and that's how we'll complete our first section this is our first section guys just wait 30 seconds for people to kind of no problem i'm waiting for 30 seconds guys and while waiting let me just remind you if you have not subscribed my channel leave the chat go to the main window and subscribe the channel and don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and it is absolutely free for you guys but it will help me in growing my channel as well as you will be notified whenever i go live and as you know for this whole october month every friday we are doing spirals every saturday we are doing mandalas like this is what we are going to do tomorrow and every sunday we are going to do zen doodle this is the zen doodle which we are going to do this coming sunday so if you subscribe you will get notification yes so whoever is drawing along with me please write down one and whoever is just enjoying watching me drawing please write down two i i was looking like someone is just i think lavina best of luck for your exam because you are just enjoying watching and studying i i heard that so you can write two so whoever is just watching please write down two thank you so subhashini kahani preeti aditi rumna karuna noha simran thank you guys now in this one guys we are going to start from this bottom point and we will go anti clockwise <laughs> and you can rotate your paper according to your like you know the direction so that you can draw your lines more straight and neat and you can start from the other side too but every time it is supposed to be slanted and not very far away but if you go and please tell how to decide the direction to start yes Shweta so there are two ways to uh, think in these kind of spiral art either you get the twisted column or you get the fan so if you change the direction in the adjacent two shapes two shapes which are closer to each other if you keep changing the direction swapping the direction like the clockwise and anti-clockwise you will get the fan if you keep the same direction then you will get the twisted column these are the two main specific points to remember to think about the direction of the spiral and then the next thing is uh, where to start so where to start based on the adjacent uh, block shape like you see here it is showing half of the fan so i wanted to complete this fan right so that's why i started from here so that my fan is started from the bottom and it goes circular here so those are the two points uh, and you know the more you make clearer it will be for you and it is really easy once you keep drawing these kind of spiral art they are really very easy just two things to remember and you see like here it is I'm having too much space so it's just a little cheat or a trick you can say to like kind of fix it what do you want to call it cheat or a trick so that's how you get this fan so now you see these two are the half fans here so we'll decide accordingly when we'll start making our <coughs> shapes here because i want to come down from here i don't want to go up if i start from here i'll get the twisted column but if i come down from here i'll get the fan here let's see how it works so i'm i'm going to start from this bottom corner and we'll go up And then we'll come down in our last 
spiral art we made lots of twisted column the the design was like that in today's we i have planned for the fans so i'm starting in this direction but the fun part is shweta or like all of you whoever is drawing along with me like i even i don't know how it will look when it will be done because i have never completed this pattern like the drawing this specific string pattern so this is the first time i'm drawing so i just have an idea in my mind that it should look like that but uh, you know that is the excitement of these kind of drawing that even we don't know how it will come up when it's done and excitement continues until we are done like right and even after we are done drawing with the pen excitement keeps continue because you can use either the graphite pencil you can use either the gray marker pen or maybe you can use either the colored pen or the colored pencil so there are various ways to give the final finishing and when you submit these kind of work at the art corner channel at my discord you will see participants are doing amazing they are putting a lot of elements of their own so now you see this beautiful shape here so for this triangle here we are going to start again from the center and we will go to the clockwise manner uh, can i use glass pens for this drawing so that's a question from tarantia yes you can easily So in our today's this string we we cut our sections make our sections very long line shapes so it is absolutely okay if you want to use the ruler guys okay or otherwise if you are drawing freehand like the way I am drawing I would suggest you to draw slow and talk less don't talk too much like the way I am talking because sometimes talking too much loses like you can mess up and you can lose your focus but keep enjoying keep drawing and there are a few uh, participants new here so <coughs> sorry for that so for that you all uh, just to introduce myself my name is Nidhi Prakash your host of these sessions and my co-host is my husband Ajay Prakash hey Ajay hey everyone and he's in the he's behind the scenes he's helping me out in the chat and replying you guys back in the chat and he's helping me all these technical setup so that I can conduct these sessions. And yeah, that's it. So now we are going to do exactly repeating the same thing to this side, guys. So we are going to repeat exactly the same thing. So for the repeating, I would start from the left corner first and then I will go to the center. So for this is first corner, as you remember, we start from the bottom. So I'll start from the bottom, but this time we will go anti-clockwise. So we'll go opposite, like exactly mirror style in this direction. So we are going to start from the bottom. We'll go top and we'll go anti-clockwise. And as you all know, October is going on and the Inktober challenge is going very well. Maybe most of you must be joining the Inktober challenge with me as well as in the social media. So it's a challenge like it is started by a very famous artist, uh, Jake Parker in 2009. And 
you have to draw one uh, drawing every day based on the prompts so these are the official prompts you can see the prompts everywhere in the social media you can search on the google you can see on my facebook page you can see on my discord and based on the prompts you have to draw one drawing daily every single day one drawing you can draw very small tiny just in five minutes you can draw elaborated like very big one you can take two hours three hours daily it is absolutely your choice there is no rules for that and although they suggest us to use the ink pens i'm using these black ink pen they have the archival black ink pen i'm using these pens for the drawings you can use any kind of ink pen Maybe you can use colors, you can use graphite pencil, you can use any other marker pens or any other material, that's absolutely fine. Preference is black ink pen. You can underdraw with the pencil and then draw it. Now we are going to work in this top corner and for this one, <coughs> As you know, we are going to start from this corner and we'll go clockwise now. Okay, this was anti-clockwise, guys. Remember, so this was clockwise. So Aditi is asking, I'm using a gel pen. Will that turn out okay? Yeah, the only thing is the gel pen dries a little late, kind of. Like, they don't dry that quick. So, you have to be really careful not to smudge it. That's the only thing I can say. Otherwise, they glide very well and ink is pretty... A good shiny so I'm pretty sure that should work I'm not sure if that was in reference to a question pineapple is what that's okay I don't know the octane brand Aditi I'm sorry I love using archival ink pens these I hope you can see this let me focus it so it's a archival ink pen and they dry very quick and kind of they won't smudge and they last like 10 years 20 years 30 years you will see that same shine so I love using them but you know you can use any pen that's absolutely okay I'm trying to make a video of every single uh, Inktober art and I'm trying to draw very easy version of the Inktober art so if you guys uh, want you can watch those videos and you can try drawing one art daily just by watching and drawing a little bit I'm drawing very very light very very easy kind of uh, Drawing based on the prompts you have to draw based on the prompts. That is the thing and if you Ever get chance in drawing and you are submitting don't forget to use the tags tags are hashtag inktober hashtag inktober 2020 hashtag day one day two day three whatever day you are using and the prompt or whatever your own name tag and if you want you can add my tag to nidhi prakash arts why not and you can submit at my facebook page as well as discord or as well as i'm submitting on my pinterest on my insta on my twitter i am trying to be active on all these platforms so Anita says this part of the triangle where you began I missed. Yeah. So this one I started from the center and I uh, went clockwise because this was anti-clockwise so I have to get this uh, fan here that's why this was clockwise so I'm kind of mirroring the same this part okay so for this one we went like uh, this clockwise so here we'll go anti-clockwise this side 
so that it will come from top to bottom and we'll get the fan. Keep drawing, keep drawing until you reach to the center of the shape. Try to maintain the shape. Try not to touch the line. Try not to leave a lot of space. So these are the very beautiful, relaxing uh, drawings because these are the just repeated patterns but you have to be full focused while working them. I really enjoy doing these kind of spiral drawing. They are just very quick. A drawing and just in these 30 minutes you feel achieved you feel energetic and relaxed as well as and that feel good feeling is there that's what I feel I'm sure you guys will also uh, get the same feeling so now we are at the last section and then the special part will come so in this last section we are going to start from this bottom corner and we will go this anti-clockwise so start from the bottom Yes. H craft says I'm late. Mm -hmm. So if you go clockwise on one side of picture and the other side and same space, would I go anti-clockwise? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Because we are mirroring same. So if this was like in the first section the triangle we go clockwise, here we go anti-clockwise. There is one participant in my discord and she made a beautiful mandala in the center and all around of that mandala she used all these spiral art and she put all the spiral arts around that mandala and it was so beautiful and there is one more other participant who combined all the nine spiral art on the black sheet and stick them together to make a beautiful wall art so it's imagination is the only limit you can make them in as big paper as you want and you can extend them you can combine them join them together and you can definitely hang them frame them gift them put them in a greeting card and they are beautiful abstract artwork and now we are done with the drawing but the main important part so we can use graphite pencils for the shading as you have seen me using graphite pencil in my past all sessions we can use gray marker pen but how about today we use colors so I'm using these two colors green and orange today you can choose any colors if you don't have any colors no problem you can use gray markers if you don't have gray markers you can just use the graphite pencils so it is absolutely okay what kind of uh, markers or what kind of uh, pen you are choosing so what I'm just doing I'm just doing one line near to each line here I'm leaving the white space to give it that beauty and just finishing it off with this and same I'm doing here
it is absolutely optional what color you want to choose what otherwise you can just use pencil to give the shading right for these and I'm going to use the same for the bottom one I'm, I'm, I'm sure we are not we have time right I don't want you guys to sit more than half an hour for this set. It is absolutely optional guys I'm just doing it to give you an idea as you have seen in my past session mostly I use graphite pencil I want and I want to keep it classic but you know sometimes it's uh, like fun to have different colors in our artwork sometimes maybe there is any theme or anything that we really want to choose any specific kind of colors sorry now I'm using this green and I'm kind of going over the black line You can choose any two contrast colors, whatever you feel like. These two colors just came to my mind today. I don't know why. Now I'm just turning it around and I'm choosing the same color here. Even after still using these colors if you want uh, yes if you want you can go ahead and you can use the graphite pencil in the borders to make it you know to make it more three days look or to give it a depth I'm just going to use the black marker pen the thick one one more time to make the corners more neat and to give them little weight after doing these coloring so before I use any other color I would like you to I would like to use the black marker pen again just for these borders Give them a little neat look. So 
these kind of final finishing is guys you can like change them based on your style based on your uh, requirement how you want to use it So I'm not using any graphite pencil today as you see I just use all different marker pens we can use marker pens we can use any crayons any colored pencils or whatever we feel like in all our these patterns and you can keep them in any direction any shape you can extend them as many as you want and you can keep them and I hope you guys enjoyed drawing with me and now it's the time to sign date and praise your artwork how about that what's the direction of the Oh, are you talking about the center section? This is the one which we I did the last and I, I start from the bottom and I did it up and I go clockwise. So now I'm signing my initials. Today's date is 2nd October. Happy Gandhi Jayanti guys. And it is 10.2.20. And our color theme also goes with it, isn't it? And now it's time to praise. Good job, Nidhi Prakash. You did awesome. Now it's time for you guys to say aloud your name. Say some good words to yourself and to your artwork. This is what we are always supposed to do, especially whenever we are doing pattern drawing, either the spiral or the mandala or the zendoodle. And again i am just giving you a sneak peek this is what we are going to do tomorrow mandala and if you are joining me for the mandala don't forget to keep the compass with you guys that is really required because it's all the circular pattern as you see this is the mandala which we are going to do next saturday not tomorrow again we need the uh, compass for that this is the pattern which we are going to do next to next Sunday, not this coming Sunday. Next to next Sunday and this is the coming Sunday pattern. So I have showed you all four patterns of the coming two weeks. And let me show you quickly. These are the drawings for the Inktober. This is the 1st October fish prompt. This is the 2nd October today. The wisp is the prompt. So I drew the wisp of smoke you can draw like the wisp of hair wisp of grass i drew wisp of smoke and this is the drawing for the tomorrow i have prepared it and i just uploaded the video of it also and this is the prompt is bulk bulky so i thought like the bulk of thoughts we keep in our mind so i just used that idea and i just drew that thing bulk of thoughts in our mind so these three are already if you want you can see their videos on my youtube channel too and participate in the participate in inktober and if you are participating don't forget to submit and for this specific pattern please submit it at the art corner channel at the discord as well as at my facebook page see you guys tomorrow in the mandala session same time bye have a good day